Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for TheDailySheeple.com, and this is your new shot. I'm going to go to BGR.com. Uh, thanks, Mac, for this one. Uh, scientists just used a brain implant to improve human memory, and that could be a game changer. Or they say it could change everything. Well, I would have to say, yeah. If Could you imagine if you had like a, uh, like a ram stick? Just bloop, pop it in there. Save whatever you want, access it anytime you want, no problem, or even something preloaded, you know, maybe like with a foreign language, you know, this is, this is the stuff that we're starting to see and the, where it actually starts to manifest is people with disabilities, people with brain injury. That's how it starts. And then they find out how much money they can make through it. And guess what? Now it starts to filter down into society. And that's a bad thing because when you start talking about uploading and downloading from, uh, say, a machine to a brain, uh, you, you don't know what you're exposing yourself to, let alone um, what kind of viruses might be put in there. you got to remember, scientists figured out how the brain works uh, years and years ago. They started this research at the turn of the 20th century. Uh, it, just to determine, you know, how did the brain exactly function? How does it, uh, you know, save things? All that they figured it all out, and as a result, they know how to manipulate it, possibly through uploading viruses and hacking your brain. You know, think about it. How much easier would it be for them? If you just gave them access to your brain, point blank, instead of having to go and, you know, uh, play around with you through propaganda and social engineering and all this other crap that costs a lot of money, now all of a sudden we're just going to get humanity to, to do this for us just so we can have access to every one of your brains. And then you bring AI into this thing and it opens up a whole Pandora's box because the AI can manage it all. Next thing you know, it's bucket helmets and SpongeBob. I mean, that's, that's where we're at, is just a total and complete brainwashed automaton society. It, it could go down that road, you know, if, if we allow it. Um, but this, this article is pretty interesting. It says the human brain is truly a wonder. And nature has honed it to be incredibly efficient for processing information and hanging on to things we might need at a later date. But it could be even better. Because they... <laughs> He says, scientists have now done what one time was thought impossible by using a brain implant to actually augment human memory and prove that it works to improve information retention by measurable degrees. Uh, presenting the research at the Society for Neuroscience, uh, Dong Song of the University of Southern California revealed his team s successful efforts to use man-made hardware to improve brain function. Uh, with 20 volunteers embracing the new technology and allowing the scientists to play with their brain function. Wow, that's brave. The study marks a huge leap in human augmentation. I didn't know that we were taking leaps into human augmentation, but now apparently we are, and that could be a sign of what's coming. Yeah, it's not just a sign of what's coming. It's a sign of what is. It's not what's coming. It's here. That's the thing that people don't understand. You know, it starts with the... Uh, normalization of things through the, you know, the Google Glass and uh, using uh, augmented reality on your smartphone, uh, you know, the virtual reality glasses. And then all of a sudden, you know, it becomes part of you. And that's where, that's where you should have the rub, at least in my humble opinion, because it takes away from your humanity. And our humanity is very important. You know, we were designed this way for a reason. And when you start entering or putting these things in your body, you start altering the natural way and the natural chemistry of things. And I can see there being a big problem down the line of people developing infections, disease, uh, genetic defects, all of that and more cancer as a result of this human augmentation because it runs contrary to our organic engineering. And... If you think about it, again, this is prophesied as it was in the days of Noah. So will it be in the when the coming of the Son of Man, you know, and we have this time period where we are really starting to manipulate the human 
genome. We're looking at manipulating the human body. And it says in those days, uh, people will develop sores and, and things like that. I mean, look, this is crazy. This desire to augment humanity. You know, I'm all for embracing technology to make life easier for us. Hey, that's, that's great. But I am not for altering in any way what was designed and i think it's the the height of human arrogance to think that we can play god we haven't a clue what we're doing science knows very little fact oh they can theorize all day but that's all it is theories and boy we are putting a lot of faith in scientific theory and I don't think, for one, that's where we should be putting our faith at all. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeble.com's News Shot. Feel free to comment below, like this video, subscribe if you like what you see, and visit our website at thedailysheeble.com. Hashtag wake the flock up. Have a great day, everybody.